hello my gorgeous friends on the internet okay welcome to this part of the video and uh, so uh what we are going to be learning in this video or we are what we are going to be doing is first of all we are going to see how to convert an image url from the network okay like a network url image or any url to a file url which we can actually display using file okay and also we are going to see how to apply our wallpaper to the home screen the lost screen and also the boot screens as well all right so those and uh, more other things that we are going to be covering in this particular video okay so uh the first thing we need to do in this page uh, i think we need to be able to know the part where the video is coming from because that will be very needed okay and uh, so each image has its own part right so this view wallpaper page what i'm going to do i'm going to create another string another uh constructor so this is going to be like a part so i need to actually know where the data are coming from because we need to do some kind of modification because normally uh, an image coming from this part once we apply it we also need to save it to firebase okay like a downloaded image but anyone that is coming from here is already downloaded we don't need to download it again okay so that's why i want to use the part to be able to differentiate them to know which part that is coming from okay so uh i will have this as this dot part so by default the main parts i believe is just going to be an empty string okay so the empty string that means even if we don't put anything it's going to be an empty string so for in the case of the home page we won't be we won't pass the parts but in the case of maybe when you are coming from download we are going to pass the parts so i'm going to go to download page where this page is so i'll, I'll add a part and call this one save okay which is so to know that okay this has saved data already so we don't need to download it okay that's why i use that word there saved okay then all right uh, the next thing we need to do now is to actually create a simple uh, provider that is going to apply the widgets that's going to apply uh the wallpaper and also convert the wallpaper the network url to a file and in case you don't know the packages that are responsible for doing those things it's the first one is the path provider package that will help us to store the image in our local device okay storage and also uh, the flutter wallpaper manager will enable us to apply the wallpaper on the user's device okay so these are the two packages that are very important in this video right now okay so i'm going to go over to my provider and right here i'm going to create uh, something called apply wallpaper provider okay and uh yep so uh, the next thing i'm going to do is to uh, kind of create a class okay so the class still the same thing as the other classes we have been creating other provider classes because i think i normally use the same method so uh, let's say i will extend uh, change notifier here and make sure you import the foundation i believe yeah then uh, i'm going to have a string so the string like a getter and a setter you guys should be familiar with this by now okay like a getter and a setter all right then we're going to have a void a method which is more like download and apply okay uh, let's just call it apply okay and it's going to take three parameters uh, the first one is going to be the image which is the image you are coming from firebase and also it's going to take the location that means uh, this location is actually coming from the flutter uh, wallpaper manager plugin so this location is more like to specify if we are applying it to home screen lock screen or the boot screen okay then uh, lastly we are going to have other uh, parts so this part will be passed whenever we try to call this method okay then the first thing i want to do in this case is to set the status uh to true okay so this status means uh the okay set notify listener to to true so this status it's when we come to this page and click on apply uh this stuff should change if we click on it if it's applying this stuff should change to something like apply and please wait okay so this status is actually handling that okay then uh the next we are going to do now is to wrap this stuff with a try and catch because it's an asynchronous call so we don't know it might actually get some error so i will wrap this with a sync 
with a try and catch to just properly handle the error okay then once we do that i'm going to uh, replace this stuff now with this okay just put more like okay error occurred but we really need to know what the error is so i can just add a print statement here okay uh once that is done we can add a clear message you remember i like adding clear message a lot so we can add it there to just clear uh to set the the message to empty all right so this is where we're actually going to write the logic that we handle the application of the wallpaper but i think uh before this can be done we actually need to get the file because uh wallpaper manager actually require a file let me show you something so this is actually the method to actually add the wallpaper so this wallpaper manager wall this wallpaper okay wallpaper manager is actually from the package the dependency which i told you about which is this okay let me open my password and my file here it's coming from this wallpaper manager okay you know you want to make sure you add that so wallpaper manager dot set i think i'm missing something import it first okay dot set wallpaper from file so if you see this file now it requires the file parts and this file part now needs to be stored in your local device okay because outside that we won't be able to get it then the wallpaper location you can see the type is actually an integer okay so to get it you can get something like uh, let's say wallpaper no location sorry i think it's location dot no it's something like wallpaper okay wallpaper manager the lock screen okay that's where it's coming from but in this case now uh since we'll be passing it whenever we click on each of this button like if we click on this we are going to pass the location if we click on this we we'll pass the location as i i decided to make it a parameter here then we are now going to pass the location here okay but for now how do we get the image because we can't just pass this image this image now is a network image and it's coming from the firebase uh, wallpaper image so if we pass it here it won't, it won't work so we first of all need to download it to our local storage and then like convert it okay so we'll be using this package this dependency for it which is the path provider make sure you have it installed already and so what we are going to do now I'm go to my util class so inside this util class now i'm going to create a file and i will call this one convert convert url to file okay so this is one thing you're going to learn and you guys are going to love it so uh the first thing i want to do now is just to and, uh, i'll use a future and it's going to return a file okay it's not supposed to be html so it should be io okay file and i will say convert url to file okay like so then we're going to pass the string which is the url of the file that we want to convert and use your async and when right here now i'm going to have a response like me making a response re a network request now and remember we need to use http as well i think we actually added http to this so let me check my uh prospect with the ml file i believe we already added http but if we didn't then we will have to add http dependency uh, because without that i don't think it's possible so we have to add http uh, to make the network request so we had so just give it some few minutes to load okay it automatically adds uh, that dependency for us yeah i think it adds it but if you're not in the current version let's let's try it i'm going to remove the dependency because i feel because i know uh this new release of firebase this new version it added a uh, http package it also added a uh, int package uh, for date formatting and also pa other packages so i'm just going to remove that http package to see what is going to happen here uh in your case you can add it okay in case it's not available so i'm just going to remove it let's see if it's going to work all right so i just removed it now so you can see we don't have http package 
so let me see if it's something i can actually import because firebase if you look now firebase has int like nah, this is the int package and uh if you look here now i didn't imp import any int package which is actually awesome i didn't import any int package and you can actually get it so let me see if we can get http as well so i'm just going to import http yeah i guess my guess was right i uh, actually had seats for us so uh, things are now easier in some way so i think i'm going to make a video to do on this like uh, most of the packages that were added to uh, uh firebase uh to flutter that we don't really need to be adding anymore okay so we can have this last http dot get okay then the url is going to be uri dot pass then we'll pass in the url here then the next thing i'm going to do now is just to c use the uh document i'm going to get the document directory of where we want to store the data and also retrieve it from there as well so this is coming from path provider now so i'll have a wait uh get application document directory okay once i get that i'm going to create the file okay and uh with the join okay document so the join the join uh word is actually used to is from a part package but i think that part package is already added to flutter so we don't assuming you don't have any part package you can actually add the dependency here but in this case upgrade your flutter version yeah so you should have uh file okay then we have join so normally this join you cannot have it except you are using uh the firebase part okay part dependency so to get that we're just going to have import uh part okay is it part p a t h i guess uh something is wrong let's see packages part dot part okay that's where you can have this join you can see the error is gone then we can pass in the document directory document directory dot part then we can actually have the url so i want to split it so url dot that split now is more like the name that i want to save it as so i'll say url dot split okay then the pattern remember we did this before so i'm just going to get the last name and I'll save it there then what i will just do is just to have five dot write as string write as byte sync okay so once we add it as you can just add a response dot to bytes to bytes then once i do that i'm going to return the five parts okay so this is just going to return the five parts so what is happening here this is uh, just like making the network request to get the raw data of the response like the then the documents i created the document directory then the five parts are uh, document directory dot parts to actually uh, create a dummy like a temporal part for us then i use write byte string to get the bytes then i return the files very simple right so right here and i'm going to come over here now to get the five parts so what i'm going to do inside here is to have a simple function uh, a simple variable that is going to get the file so it's going to wait for it to complete so this is going to be convert um, i'm trying to call the convert URL to file then i'm going to pass the image the image part so this five part now i'm just going to pass it okay file this is going to be five dots remember it's a file that we are returning five dot part okay so once we apply it successfully i'm just going to set the status of this stuff now to uh to their correct uh, correct uh parts so i'm just going to say okay like so all right so i'm i'll be adding this uh, apply wallpaper provider now to the main dot that uh, let's go i'm going to register the provider now okay inside here so i'm just going to have something like a change notifier provider all right uh let's do a hot restart now and so uh the next thing i'm going to do now is to go over to the view wallpaper page 
so i'm going to go over to the view remember we already created this apply wallpaper okay uh this is the function now and this is the part okay and uh so normally as it is now and the way i want to do it is as it is now if uh, the part is equal to uh, saved we just apply but if it's not equal to saved let's say we're applying it from here then we need to actually save the purchase provider the purchase data again to firebase just the way we did when we when we made the payments right okay so that's what i'm going to do so inside here and i'm just going to call i'm just going to check for something so if uh the if the part is equal to saved that means it's actually no if the part is not equal to saved so what am i going to do just to save the uh, purchase data uh, to firebase then i'm going to call the image which is this part here as simple as that awesome uh, that was cool and if you look here now once we click on view wallpaper page you're actually passing the part and once we click on uh uh download wallpaper page if we go to that page you're actually passing saved yeah saved that means it's coming from the saved apart uh, page okay so i'm going to go over to view wallpaper so inside this view wallpaper that's where we're going to be applying the whole stuff that is inside this model right okay so this is the method to actually handle that okay and then the data applied test so they all have indexes right so to let's see if we can actually get the index so what i'm going to do is just to print the index okay to know the index that we're actually applying these data to so let me go to debug and i'm going to click on this and if i click on apply home you can see the first index is zero the second index is one the third index is two so i'll be using a uh, switch for this so you can use if statement if you want so i'll be using switch and then passing the index doing something like this so case so if the case is zero that means we're actually applying for home okay then you can break that then if the case is one we are actually applying for uh lock screen okay then uh case right okay so uh to get this stuff done now to actually show us a uh, more of more like the corresponding uh uh, actions so i'm going to wrap it with uh with a consumer widget okay i'm going to wrap that stuff now with a consumer widget which is the column i'm going to wrap the column now with a consumer widget and uh, so we're going to have something like a uh, consumer uh, because i need to actually change the state of the apply which is this stuff i talked about here okay so we need to change the state accordingly then i'm going to add this is going to be apply wallpaper provider and get rid of this and this one is going to be apply provider and then child okay awesome then here now uh remember we actually had you need to use widget binding okay because of the way this stuff eats so we just have to put our widget binding here then show a lot okay so once uh widget binding once the uh the image has been applied we show the message then apply provider will clear the message and then we navigate then we pop the uh, the snack bar okay so we're going to pop the uh, bottom now i say snack bar sorry okay so uh, what i'm going to do next now is to come over here now and say something like uh, if the apply i think i need to remove this const widget okay so let's say something like if apply apply provider okay is if apply provider dot uh, let's say the status is equal to true and we're going to return uh applying so that should be like uh please wait uh applying okay so the user need to uh, be aware of the activity that is currently going on okay so let's save that okay then uh we're going to go over to this page now which is uh where we're going to apply the main widget all right so uh remember the part is actually returned so what i'm going to do here now in this case since it's home page i'm going to just call 
the uh, apply button so i'll just say let's say apply button apply provider dot uh, apply and it takes the image so the image that is going to be coming from uh, the widget so i think it will be best i just create the variable instead of typing it uh, one after the other so just create image here which is widget dot uh, data dot get wallpaper image all right so that would do and then uh so yeah that would do so the image now which is this apply you can see it takes image location and path so what i would do now the image is going to be like this then the parts is just going to be widget dot parts okay whatever the part is let's just take it that way then the location remember i told you that it's coming from wallpaper wallpaper uh wallpaper manager dot home screen so in this case now zero means home one means lock two means uh boot so for this i will apply home screen like so and then for the next one i will do the same thing again uh this one is for lock i will apply it and then change this stuff now to lock screen okay you can see how easy this is and uh this one now is going to be for boot okay let's save this properly all right so i'm going to do a hot restart right now and uh yep let's do a hot restart and just wait for it to load all right so let's start with this okay uh this one is free i remember it's not currently in our saved data right so it's currently free it's not in our saved data so i believe once we apply it if we click on home it's going to call this function let's go back we'll go here if we click on home now so i want to apply to the home page this is my current wallpaper right okay so let's apply it to the home page so if i click on home it's going to call this method and then once it calls that method it's going to uh, download it then save it to check if the path is equal to saved which is the path here if it's equal to saved that means it's coming from the download page there is not going to save it to data firebase but if it's not there is going to save it to firebase uh, then let's click apply you can see the test has changed please wait applying and you can see this stuff is actually downloading and once it's applied you see applied and then it popped the widget okay uh, once it showed applied it just uh pop to the widget calling this method okay so if i close now you can see if i go to my home screen now my app has been you can see my dusting has been changed to this one you can see this is awesome all right so let's go back to the download page to see if this stuff was actually downloaded so if we go here i can see two items two wallpapers awesome so let's try and apply this one from here okay from the downloads now if we click on okay now i want to apply it to my home screen so I'll click on home screen is applying okay just applied and let's go back you can see it has been applied all right so <laughs> this is so cool but if you see my i think my yeah my wallpaper actually has a different my wallpaper has a different one so okay so what i'm going to do now is to apply this other one i'm going to apply this other one now to the to my lock screen which is this apply let's say lock screen and uh, give it some time all right so you can see now this one now is showing then let me lock my device can see now this one has taken over of the lock screen you can see how awesome it is as well let me try and apply this this particular one okay let me upload one image first let me upload another image okay, and this one is going to be free let me upload another one which is this okay so just wait upload an image okay successful let's go back and uh, go to downloads go to home we should see the three images all right so i'll click on it and then click on apply this one i want to apply it to the home screen and the lock screen as well so let's click on boot 
hold on a sec all right it has been applied so if i go to my home screen and it has been applied if i lock my device open it up it's still the same lock screen all right so guys this is what i want to show you guys and you can see how to convert an image url to a file url and image you can see how to convert image url coming from the network to a five parts and also we are able to apply our wallpaper in our device okay so i'll see you guys in the next video sorry this this video was too long but at least i'll see you guys in the next video and i think this is all actually so i'll just have a wrap up a conclusion in the next video